Hey guys, today we have a really fun treat for you. Well, it's actually a breakfast. I don't know about you guys, but for holiday mornings, we always make a really fun, really special breakfast for our family. Christmas breakfast for me growing up meant that we had this huge spread of a ton of our favorite things. And I know for some of you, that means that maybe you had brunch with extended family, or maybe you had something that was super special to your own family. Today, we wanna share a new recipe with you guys that maybe will become your new special thing. It's a really delicious breakfast. It comes together super quick and it can even be prepped ahead the night before. Y'all know that we are pressed for time. We don't wanna be standing over the stove all morning long. We wanna be able to relax on the holiday mornings too. And so without further ado, let's show you how to make a delicious eggnog French toast casserole. We are gonna start off with what is known as a flax egg. It's pretty simple. It's a little bit of ground flaxseed and triple that in water. Wait about 15 to 20 minutes and then it should look as jiggly as an egg. While waiting on the egg to set up, we should start cubing the loaf of bread. Typically we would use our homemade bread, but around the holidays with so many items to make, I pick up an artisan bread at the local grocery store to make this more simple. So for a real good French toast, you want to use stale bread. Don't worry if you don't have stale bread. You can actually put your bread on a baking sheet and bake it for a few minutes to dry it out, giving it the same effect. For the eggnog mixture, we're going to add everything into a medium bowl. Here, it's really important to already know the taste of your eggnog. We have an eggnog review on our site that should help give some direction and what tastes good. Add in a little vanilla and your flax eggs to bring it all together. This is a total of four flax eggs. Whisk everything together until thoroughly combined. It's okay if a few lumps are left behind. Add your bread into a nine by 13 casserole and cover thoroughly with the mixture. Pro tip, no worries if you don't completely get everything covered. Use a spatula to flip the bread a few times to get everything coated evenly. We're gonna start by melting the butter over medium heat until completely melted. From here, we can add in our brown sugar and whisk to get a caramel-like texture. Add in your nut of choice and then your spices. We're using pecans, or is it pecans? Stir it together to finish up your topping. Spread this evenly across your casserole and then it's ready for the oven. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video. Happy holidays.